Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to calculate frequency distribution in Excel 2016. So there's a bunch of different ways we can do this, but first you're going to need our measurements, which I've just randomly generated some, and you'll see that they update every time anything else updates. We also have our distributions right here, just some iterations there and the descriptions of what those do, less than or equal to 60 according to the bin there. 61 to 65, 65, and so forth. Greater than 90 is just a blank cell. So here we have the count. And this is our first value here, our first formula. We use frequency, our measurements as the first argument, and then we have our bin as the second argument. And we need to control shift enter to make that an array. Then we simply drag that all the way down and we can see that everything works there. One problem is that we cannot insert or delete rows in an array, and we can't edit them, and we have all sorts of problems. But if that's what you want, then you can stop right there. Otherwise, we have the index here. So we can just nest all of that inside an index formula, and we go on ahead and move that down. You can pause the video anytime to write down the formulas. You can see which can delete the rows. I have a slight reference problem there that we can fix really easily. But otherwise, we can change the arrays. So we also have the sum if, and this isn't to really check for the count, it's to check the results. Here we have an array, and we're going in here. And here you're going to have to be careful because the next ones are different than the first one. And they're also different from the last one, so you're going to have to sandwich those in together. And make sure that those are three different formulas. So we're, here we have the sum product. And this doesn't need to be entered in as an array. It already takes arrays as a parameter. So we have our array there. You can see that the second formula is different, just like the other one. We just copy that down. Then the final formula is different than the first two. So that's how to use sum product. We have the plus zero there to make sure that it returns a proper Boolean value. All right, and finally we have the count ifs plural. So to start off, we use the count ifs. It's just another way to get the same results here. First one's different from the second one. And the second one is just sandwiched in. You just autofill that in. And it's also different from the last formula here. So this has been a How Tech Video Tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.